good afternoon. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Tired. Very, yeah. very tired. We're the same. We're both <laughs> tired. Just quickly, just introduce yourself, please, people watching. That would be lovely. Okay, so I am Daniela, although most know me by Danny. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I am the promotion and booking assistant slash show rep for Juicebox Live. Woo! What, um, what steered you into that? Was it like, was that a thing like you always aimed for, for that sort of mantle or title? Or did you just gradually build into it through like working and progressing? Like how, what attracted you to that initially? Mm -hmm. So basically with me, I've always loved live music and... Yeah. I came across a tweet with, through Music Venue Trust looking for females to get into promotion. They were looking for 100 females to put on 100 shows up and down the country. And so that was the first step. And then I got introduced to Luke and Juicebox. And then I kind of worked my way up into promotion. So I started in the office mm. doing little jobs, tickets, messaging bands, just learning how everything goes, how to put on a show, basically. Nice. And I went on to working on the door, the till, which I'm sure loads of people see me on. <laughs> yeah. um, night manager, and yeah, I've just slowly been working my way up. Yeah. That's cool. That's so cool. I mean, like, what would be for you? Has how has the experience been? Not only as like a fan of live music, but also now someone working alongside it. Has it been enjoyable? Has it been like stops in the road where you, like you started to not hate it, but you started to doubt it? Like, how was your like personal journey been with it? I'm wondering. Well, as a fan of music, it was yeah. like, this was big for me. I was like, oh my God, I get to work with bands all the time and put on live shows. Because I'd look at other promoters and I think that's such a cool job to have, you know, mm. to be able to turn up to a venue every week and to watch all these different bands from small local to big touring. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, it was, it was awesome for me to get into as a fan of music. And it was hard. And there were times where I was like, oh my God, what am I doing? <laughs> like, I am clueless. Yeah. Um, but with Luke by your side, it's he's he has so much knowledge and experience. So yeah, but it got I, easier, and I do I do love doing it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I definitely feel that like people on the team like Luke, for example, who do empower a lot. Like for me, especially for this, yeah. what I'm doing. I yeah. at the start, I would get so stressed out doing this, and I'm sitting in my bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm getting stressed out about it, about a, a, a screen in front of my face. And like, yeah. I would need him to be like, shut up. It's fine. Yeah. Like, just yeah. Shut up. Yeah, like, okay, cool. Cheers. Yeah. There are times where I'm like, oh my God, I need to message him. I don't know what to do in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> like, help. <laughs> I mean, like, it's, it's, again, it's great. I feel like we've, in general, we've got a good bubble through, like, the people who not, maybe not even be involved in Juicebox who just come into the venues. We all know each other, too. Like, there's a good community that's built, fans or just fans, and it's lovely. And I'm like, yeah. will that be something you want to further cement from here? Well, would you stick with it, or would you want to spin something else other than night managing or promoting, or is this, like, it for you? Do you want to further push it into whatever it can go? Um, I see this is something I've thought about a lot actually. Yeah. Um, I definitely love what I'm doing now. I love the whole night managing. Mm. Um, promotion side of it, it is very stressful. Yeah. <laughs> book bands and get them all to agree on dates and stuff. It's it is very stressful, but I do love it at the end of the day, you know, turning up to the venue and knowing it's your night, you yeah. know, yeah, yeah. coming to watch the bands that you've put on, it's awesome. So it's definitely something I would love to carry on and see where it goes yeah awesome and like would there be it's such a generic question to ask and i'm sorry sorry what would be like the passing advice you would give to someone who'd want to like branch into that initially like would you say go for it but like keep your head straight or would you say think about it first or do you think it's just fine to run in blind and learn as you go from your experience at least um i think well with me i kind of just went for it luke <laughs> offered it to me and i was like yeah i want to yeah. do it there was no thinking about it it's 100% I want to do this um especially as you know I love live music so it just yeah. seemed the right thing to do um and I had no experience at all but right. again with Luke you know that experience yeah. came and yeah I'd say just go for it I'd say get out there to your local music venues you know meet the promoters talk to the promoters you know and yeah, just get involved. Yeah. <laughs> it will it will all come to you. You'll learn as you go along. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, would there be any 
nights that you put on acts like in your mind what like nights stood out to you you were like oh my god yeah this is a great thing i just put on like it's been like certain acts or events that you've helped book like what would be like standouts for you when you think back and go oh i've booked that yes i'm so proud of that yeah it's always going to be your first one i think my first yeah. one even though it didn't go too well <laughs> there was you know there was moments where i was like oh god help um no that was my favorite one you know getting it all booked and seeing it all come together it was great yeah, yeah so that's probably my standout one for me my first show nice yeah. who who was it who were the acts that night i'm wondering oh lord <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, gosh. Um, oh no! <laughs> Do you know when you just forget a band's name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I cannot think because it was one <laughs> of the situations where I had bands booked and then a band dropped out, so now I had to get another band last minute. And... Right. Yeah. It was... Are those situations <laughs> that you have to be prepared to happen because they will happen? Then, like, a hundred percent. Like backburners, or do you have to like plan ahead, or do you just bank like they won't pull out? At first, I had no backburners. At right. first, like a band would pull out, and I'd like, oh no! And so I'd quickly be searching through Facebook, like, yeah. what genre fits? Who can play this show? And I just bombard all these different bands with messages, like, please come and play. <laughs> so yeah, now now that you know I've got more experience, now I'm like, okay, if a band yeah. does if something goes wrong, at least I have backups there, and I know who I can get in contact with. So, yeah. Awesome. And like it's, and I've noticed this especially before like all the venues closed. Yeah. It was so cool seeing how essentially it was really like the age ranges of the bands playing. Like for example, in the Horn right now, it would be like year ten and elevens through to like the, then the six formers, and then like the uni students who'll come and go. And it's like different age groups and bubbles and genres, and they're like little communities. But like like you'd book them on the same bill, and they'll like come together. Now it's like strong. Like you, you mix like vertigo and skeleton and someone like king violet for example like very different things but just smash yeah. them together and it works just well and yeah that's something that you get to know you learn you know who works well with yeah. who and who will bring what crowds and yeah it's so it's so nice and i just can't wait to see him back kicks again <laughs> it's getting yeah. to the point i'm so i'm like i'm used to not seeing them now so it doesn't hurt as much mm -hmm. but i'm still like please someone. yeah Someone. Yeah, I miss it so much. The horn opens now. I was like, oh yeah, let me go down there. And then I thought, you know what? No, it's not the same. It's not There's the no same. Band playing. <laughs> it's not the same. Yeah. It's never gonna be. It, it, I don't know. I hope soon, mm -hmm. as everyone was saying, soon. Yeah. Sooner hopefully. rather than later. Hopefully. Yeah. The last quick question for you before I let you free. What sort of music has been soundtracking like your life recently? What's been getting you through? Like old, new, anything? What would it be? Oh my god, okay, so I am that person who every week it's a different band, different artist. There's never yeah. just one artist that I can listen to. Um so for me, you know, Shikori's new album, that, that I was, was obsessed good. with that. Yeah. yeah. It was very different listening through it. I was like, oh okay, I was not expecting that. Yeah. Um but yeah, I'm obsessed with Shikori, so <laughs> in their album, but then there's also been Machine Gun Kelly and Young Bloods and Right. Yeah, it's it's a good mixture. I'm um, just every week it's someone different. So. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. I'll go from like grime to I don't know, yeah. metal and <laughs> yeah. And then I'll have my phases where I'll be like listening to big touring bands and then I'll go, actually no, I feel like listening to Sinker or T V Coma or someone. Yeah, it's it's a good mix. <laughs> nice. Awesome, right. Thank you very much, Stephadon. Very quick notice, I was aware, but really appreciate yeah. it. Thank it's you so much. Cool. Thank you for having me. Don't worry about it. See ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs>